It's awesome. <clears throat> you know, one of the things that uh, I, I know uh, my business partner uh, and, and one of your friends, Jeremy, uh, has hopefully shared with you is, you know, one of the things that's uh, really near and dear to our ethos at Anthem is uh, the power of music and how influential it can be, the time machine-like power. You hear a song that reminds you uh, of a memory and how quickly a, a, a piece of music can help you relive that memory as if it were happening all over again, uh, as well as uh, the, the, the universal language capability that music can be. And uh, I have failed to, uh, to kind of tap into you know, some of how music has impacted you uh, I'm curious, uh, and, and music, you know, I have met a few people, not many, but a few people where, you know, music, they're like, yeah, I, I like music. I've never met anybody that hates it, but it might not have the same level of influence. And we haven't touched on that at all. I'm, I'm, I'm really curious. Uh, in particular, I remember Jeremy sharing with me a story that, uh, during his boot camp, that there were kind of certain songs that were used to wake the cadets up like uh, welcome to the jungle by guns and roses or back in black by AC, you know, some hard driving shit that when, you know, four in the morning, yeah. it's like, fuck. And you're hearing, uh, you know, the opening riff to, uh, to welcome to the jungle. Uh, and what he also shared with me is that uh, during uh, that first year, you don't, get to have a stereo or a Walkman or anything like you're deprived yeah. of being able to have a dark spot. There's sort of one that dark external year distraction. All of our... <laughs> There's a dark year in all of at El West Point, you know, at least I don't know if it's still that way because they have cell phones now. So maybe they can listen. But like there's a, there's a dark year of music, uh, pop culture of all type, like movies like you just missed it. It's gone. It's like gone. Like, what is that? I don't know that one. It, so, <laughs> yeah. So for for you, I'm curious how how was a, a the music that they played was you were going through boot camp? Do you have fond memories of the music? Do you remember what it was? And then when that dark year ended and you were able to kind of return back to some semblance of pop culture, like were there bands or songs that you were like, I cannot wait to turn this on? and listen to this again because I've missed it so much. So my my music uh, DNA is affiliated with a younger part of my life when my parents were divorced and I was with my, like my mom in Florida. And it was, okay. you know, the best song off the best album ever, which is You Shook Me All Night Long of ACDC's Back in Black, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. it was... You know, Ario Speedwagon, Van Halen, The Stones, Billy Squire, like that, that's, you know, I'm old, right? So that's, that, that was, you know, in the up to 10th grade ish, like c coming of age. And then a little harder rock. And then I went to Wyoming for high school. So I right. also have an affinity for country now. Um, and then, our 13 year old twin daughter, we have a boy and a, a, a girl, our 13 year old twin daughter has been playing drums for the last three and a half years. And guess what music she plays drums to? All of my music. So I've got to <laughs> I relive love I and love experience all, all of my favorite music for, from her, from her playing with the school of rock in LA to the point where I freaked out when she got to play the Viper Room and I'm filming her for, for, you know, like, I don't know, for 40 minutes set. And I'm like filming her, doing everything, taking pictures of her outside saying, well, she's, dad, what are you doing? I'm like, believe me, you're gonna be excited that I have this footage and I have this pictures of you playing the Viper Room. Um, Hell yeah. Jeremy, Jeremy and I, a lot of years ago, spent some time in the Viper Room actually. <laughs> So, <laughs> <your partner. laughs> 